Hey guys, there's a new jailbreak available for the iPhone 4 on iOS 7, any firmware including 7.0 all the way up to 7.0.4. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone 4 using the newest version of Ragebreak, which is 1.1, and easily get Cydia working on the latest iOS 7 firmware. And this is GSM and CDMA compatible, so it'll work on both models. And you guys should update to the latest 7.0.4 if you aren't already. You know, there'll be a link down below where you can download the file. And let's go ahead and begin. Okay, so we're going to start off by powering down our iPhone. Initially, we're going to put it into DFU mode. If you don't know what that is, it's very simple. All you have to do, power it off, then turn it on, count to three, then hold power and home for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let go of the power button and keep holding the home button until you do see that your computer recognizes your iPhone in DFU mode. So roughly about 10, 15 seconds. And this is just for Windows for now. I'll release a separate video for the Mac version. Anyways, right click on Rage Break, run as administrator, and inside we're going to select download files make sure to click ok for it to begin so after it is done we're going to go ahead and select iphone 3.1 and 3.3 only jailbreak now you want to make sure your device is in dfu mode like i did mention before it should be go ahead and select extract it'll just extract to your c folder all the necessary files for the jailbreak so give it a second once you start the jailbreak process you'll get this pop-up you want to make sure not to click anything until you see that success connect to localhost on port 2022 and then you can select ok to the ssh being finished so you'll see this let it sit it'll keep jailbreaking select ok transferring files to device selecting ok will start the process so make sure to do that and then you'll get this huge huge long page of code and you just want to let your iphone sit until it goes all the way through and if you get a yes or no question like store key and cache select y on your keyboard and select enter and just let the process go now after the initial jailbreak process finishes it'll ask you to go ahead and put your device into DFU mode once again and then boot it up in tethered mode so once again like I showed you go ahead and put your device into DFU mode just force it hold power and home from here for 10 seconds and then the home button by itself until your computer recognizes it now with your device in DFU mode go ahead and select your device GSM is on the left CDMA is on the right so I'm going to select 7.0.4 which is my firmware version select OK and it'll go ahead and boot up your iPhone so just leave it for about you know 30 seconds until it does boot up and then we'll continue when your phone does boot up navigate to settings go into wi-fi to the right of the network you are connected to you'll see a little i and here you'll find your ip address so write this down we're going to need this in just a second for the final step make sure your iphone is on go ahead and select install cydia in rage break with it connected of course and you want to make sure your iphone is on the same wi-fi network as your computer go ahead and put in that ip address i told you to find earlier and give it a few seconds to register it will ask you a yes or no question about a cache select y on your keyboard select enter and then just wait it will install cydia it will take about five ten minutes i know it's a little long but go ahead and set your iphone aside and we're almost done after that's finished i'm sorry but i'm gonna have to ask you to reboot once again into dfu mode and then go ahead and boot like we did earlier into the tethered mode according to your device what firmware it was and finally, we'll have Cydia on our device. And there you have it. I now have Cydia running on my iPhone 4, running the latest 7.0.4 firmware, and it works perfectly, I gotta say. Now take note, not all apps are gonna be compatible with iOS 7 yet. It's a new jailbreak, so give it some time for developers to update them. But otherwise, you guys are jailbroken on the latest firmware. I know it could be a bit confusing when everything isn't done for you, but generally, it's pretty easy. Before, this jailbreak was a lot harder, but this latest update made it a little bit easier. Anyways, I'll keep you guys updated on the jailbreak for the other devices and you know when this does go untethered but for now this is a tether jailbreak meaning every time your device turns off or the battery dies you will have to go to your computer and boot it using the method that i showed you earlier so do keep that in mind anyways have a great day guys enjoy the jailbreak peace